Okay, we're carrying on with moment. And we're going to look at uh, something called Varignon's Theorem. What is this? It, what is Varignon's Theorem? It basically says this. Uh, the moment of a force about a point is equal to the sum of the moments of the components of the force about the same point. Let's read it again. The moment of a force about a point, that's what we, we've been doing thus far, right? Um, R cross F, right? The moment of a force about a point is equal to the sum, the sum of the moments of the components of that force about the same point. Okay, so let's see what, what this means. Let's look at this diagram here. So here we have an object, a body. We've got a force R, and we have this point of rotation O. And we can calculate the moment, right? Moment is little r, the position vector, cross big R. Okay, I think we're happy. That's, we've, we've seen that before. But this is equal if, okay, let me just back up. If we uh, if we want we can compute the components of this position uh, sorry of this uh, vec this force R we can compute its components along two axes that we choose right say now we choose this axis Q and this axis P and we calculate uh, the components using the parallelogram law parallelogram method we calculate the component Q and the component P these are forces right. We've, we've done this before. Now, the moment that this force R um, causes about O is equal to R cross Q plus R cross P. It is the sum of the moments of the components. So that's a moment of that component and that's the moment of that component about the same point. Okay, so R cross R is equal to R cross Q plus R cross P. It is equal to the sum of the moments of the components. This is in vector form. In scalar form, right, the magnitude of the moment is RD. Where, what is that? It's the magnitude of R times D, right, that's the perpendicular distance. Okay, I think we're happy with that. And then it's equal to the sum of the moments of the components. And so we've got two components, P and Q. And so we have to find P's perpendicular distance. Okay. So P times, the, that's the uh, moment on, P times the magnitude of P gives us that moment. And I'll get to that minus in a second. Actually, no, let me, let me look at it now. Um, I forgot to mention in previous videos that uh, we often take clock anti-clockwise as positive for moments, and then obviously clockwise would be negative. In this case, they choose clockwise to be positive, right? So this force P, this component, causes a anti-clockwise rotation. That's why there's a minus there. And this component Q, right, we find its moment on little q, and that's, right, the, and we multiply that by the magnitude of q. And as you can see, put your fingers in that direction and curl it, and so it's going clockwise, and we've said clockwise we assume to be positive, so that's why there's a plus there. Okay, so I think that's it, Varignon's theorem. The... The moment of a force about a point is equal to the sum of the components of the force, of the moments of the components.